<laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Looks like I made it right on time. But on. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I know. That was terrible. Wh who are you? Come on, Rue. Don't you recognize yourself? Wh what? That's right. Now listen. I believe someone has had a rough day. And I think it's best if that someone was able to express himself. Now, we're not going to resort to violence again, are we? No, sir. That's good. And second of which, you don't have to call me sir. Just say we, and I'll know who you're referring to. Alright. Hey, where are we going? Ah, the old bedroom. Just as when I left it. Now, if I'm correct, it should be... Aha, here it is. Love letters you wrote, but never sent to that one girl. What was her name again? Muniami Yumi. That's right, that was it. Whoa. The fact that I know about these letters' existence is in case you didn't believe me earlier. Oh, by the way, you got about a week before you gotta change their hiding spot. But don't worry about it right now. Come sit down. Say, would you like to tell me about what's going on? Or what happened? Don't you already know? Well, yeah, but after several years, you tend to forget things. Besides, I know you're dying to get it off your chest. Uh, okay. Well, you remember those? Remember that group of kids that keep picking on me? For the past couple of days, they kept saying that I stole something from them, calling me a thief. Blaming me for something I didn't even do. Even the principal believes them, which is messed up, because he knows what good student I am. And he knows that they're troublemakers. But why is it that when a group of kids pick on somebody, no one gets in trouble, except for the one person getting bullied? Well... It may be a sign that you're in a bad school system. And they'll be lucky if no one tries suing, because that will be bad. Second of which, you want to tell an adult. And if that adult doesn't believe you, tell another adult. Heck, tell as many as you can. One thing you gotta know, Rue, is that bullies love it when their victims stay silent. Remember that. They hate being exposed. But there's one, uh, there's one other problem. The principal told me that he'll let me off the hook if only I returned the thing I stole. I, I kept telling him I'm not a thief, but all he said was that it's my choice if I want to be punished or not. I mean, I, I didn't steal anything. How, how am I supposed to return something I never took? I what am I supposed to do? I I'm scared. N nobody believes me, not even my parents. Well, I believe you. If it makes you feel any better, usually when someone is convicted of a crime they didn't do, they get compensated. Which is a fancy way of saying, please forgive us, we were wrong. Heck, we'll even throw this, uh, we'll even throw this gift basket. We, we sincerely apologize. Eventually, justice will be served. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I brought you something. It's a little camera that you can disguise as a button on your shirt. Anytime they even try to pick on you again, just hit this button and it records. Now you can show the adults for who these kids really are. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Say, are you hungry? Because I am. Yeah, I, I can eat something. Perfect. I'm buying, and I know a special place. So the bullies who got you in trouble, they'll be roaming around like nothing happened. Meanwhile, you and the real thief, you both gotta serve detention next week. Well, that sucks. Uh, I, I know this is irrelevant, but what about Mooney? I mean, we've been friends for a while now, and... You know I have a crush on her, so does she like me back? Honestly, kid, I, I don't know. 
What? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know because when I was your age, I never asked her. I waited until the last minute and then just like that, her and her family moved out of town. And I haven't seen her ever since. My biggest regret was not asking her sooner. Because now I'm left to wonder what could have happened. Well, this is just terrible. First, I get in trouble even when they know I'm innocent. Then the bad people get away with it. And now I find out the love of my life is going to leave and I'm never going to see her again. There is no justice. You know, when I came into that portal, I made the mistake of thinking that just by showing up, poof, I was going to have everything figured out and all your life's problems were going to be solved. But now I see it's going to be a lot harder than I thought. I didn't come back so I can tell you to give up on your dreams. That life is cruel and no matter how hard you work, you ain't never going to succeed. I didn't come to tell you that. I'm came, I came here to tell you to keep pushing, no matter how hard things get. Even though there's no guarantee of success, I want you to keep having faith. I want you to keep pushing forward. You remember the story of Job? Now Job was a good guy. He never did anything wrong. And then one day, everything just went south for Job. He lost his wife, his family, his home. Then he caught this one disease, which at the time was terminal. Day in and day out, his life was just completely miserable. But he never lost faith. You know, when I first heard that story, I would think, why would God do such terrible things to a man? But then I realized, it is so easy to have faith. So easy to be a good person when things are going right. A man's faith is tested when he is in battle. When things don't go your way, that's when you're truly tested of how good of a person you are. How strong is your faith really when things don't go your way? Bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people. I don't know why, but for the good people out there, I want you to keep pushing, keep fighting for what's right. Keep on believing and keep the faith strong. Eventually, it'll all work out. Same way with Job. He kept pushing and pushing, no matter how hard life got, even when he was at the lowest and he lost everything, to the point where every person would have gave up. He kept pushing. And I realized, Job was a great man. That experience may have been tragic, but it goes to show how strong of a man he really was. It took me a long time to figure it out. Rue, I want you to do the right decisions. Make good choices, even though you don't know fully how it's going to pay off in the end. Now as for Yumi, I want you to ask her out. You might be rejected, but on the contrary, not knowing, that's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. You know, if, if I'm if I'm going to confess my feelings to her, we got to go to the store. Can we go to, can we go after, after this? Sure. Good. Here you go, y'all. Sorry for the wait. We really appreciate your patience. So here's some extra dessert. We're real sorry and we thank you so much for putting up with us. <laughs> Things are starting to turn around. So, how'd it go? Well... I was given detention, even though the real thief confessed shortly after. Wow, that's... that's messed up. Yeah. But I know you're actually more con you're more curious about what happened with me and Yumi. Isn't that right? So, here's what happened. Whoosh. I'm walking down the usual hallway and I'm still deciding on what to say and how to say it to her. Before I can even make up my mind, there she is. The most beautiful woman ever, as always. She gives me the usual hug and I give her the album. She really likes it and she gives me a second hug. She tells me, 
you know we can stream online, right? And that's when I told her how I felt about her. She says, I know. What? Yeah, you're so obvious, Rue, she tells me. Wow. Anyways, she says, listen, Rue, you're not the first guy, and you definitely won't be the last. But I like having you around as a friend. Wow. I'm sorry if that's not what you were expecting. You know, this would have been the worst day of my life. Now I don't see it that way. It's sort of like I've come to terms, like I've... I guess what I'm trying to say is I think I've found peace of mind. I'd like to say thank you for helping me out and simply being there for me. No, Rue. Actually, thank you. I owe it to you, kid. You may not know this, but I'm a happier man thanks to you. The good choices you make today will help me live a better life tomorrow. My mission here is complete. Now, unfortunately, it's time for me to go. I know you have a lot of questions, and unfortunately, even as an adult, I don't have all the answers. But I want you to know this. Know that I am proud of you. And I will continue to be so, as long as you make good choices. I'm proud of you, kid. Don't worry, we'll meet again.